All right, we got to talk about what's going on with Georgia and these voting laws and the reaction. This is over the top. It is just too much. Okay, there's a lot of bad information out there. A lot of people are telling uh, half-truths about these Georgia voting laws. My favorite of which is the, uh, you're not allowed to drink water in line. You can't have water. And they can't even give you water. That's what they're saying. Like, like if you're in line uh, to vote in Georgia and you got a glass of water, you better hide it because here they come. Was that the glass of water? Do you fully expect to vote in Georgia? Get out of here. No voting for you, water boy. What in the world? Who would make that a law? And then let's say, let's say it's true. Let's say the, the wackadoodles in Georgia said, yeah, you're not allowed, not allowed to have any kind of liquids in line to vote. Guess what? I think you'd still make it. I think you'd still survive. I, I kind of think every night when you go to sleep, you're not actively drinking water. I bet you could make it up to eight hours without having a sip of a liquid. Unless you're some weird kind of fish person. And then tell me the secrets of Atlantis. Do you wake up every night, every 20 minutes, just... Water! Water! I'm dying! I don't think that's the case. All right. So here we go. People are so upset that the guy who runs Coca-Cola is chiming in. Right? Which is a total head scratcher. Coca-Cola doesn't like the Georgia voting laws? Let me think. Uh, I don't care. What are you talking about? And shut up. Who are you? I'll tell you who it is. The head of Coca-Cola is this guy, James Quincy. And I say it James Quincy because James Quincy isn't even a U.S. citizen. He's from Britain, which gives you a double shut up. What are you talking about as a British citizen telling me and my fellow Americans about how we decide to vote? Sit all the way down, James Quincy. I'm sorry you didn't win the Revolutionary War. I'm sorry you didn't win uh, the War of 1812. But we're America, baby, and we are free. So sit down and shut up and make me a delicious soda. James Quincy's out there talking trash. This is unacceptable. It's unacceptable. Shut up, British man. He went on. He says, he says that Coca-Cola has long championed efforts to make it easier to vote. Oh, we've long championed efforts to make it easier to vote. Oh, have you? Have you? Have you long championed making, making it easier to vote in, I don't know, China? Yeah, where you're slinging coke left and right. Are you making it easier for them to vote in communist China? Yeah, communist China, where they'll round you up, they'll put you on a train, and they'll send you to some kind of forced labor camp? Are you worried about their right to vote? Sit all the way down, shut all the way up, you giant hypocrite. Let me tell you how it works. The people of Georgia get to vote. And they, they get their little legislatures up there, and then they go to the Capitol, and then they figure out how they want to do elections. That's how it works in America, oh, James Quincy. Of course, your name is Quincy. It's like the most British name ever. This annoys me to no end. Shush. Shush your mouth, Coca-Cola. Why don't you go solve a real problem? Like, uh, like why can't I get Diet Vanilla Coke in a 12-pack? Stay out of politics. Americans don't like it when, uh, when corporations get involved in the politics. We will fight back. I don't know, I don't know how we'd fight back against a big company like, uh, like Coca-Cola. I don't know what we'd do. Hmm. But I'm sure we figure out something. Ooh, that's delicious. Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe.